Hey guys, it's Faith and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited because I have been thinking about doing a this or that series for some time now. Today is my first this or that and I'm going to be comparing the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask versus the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. These two are my all-time favorites. Um, I love them for different reasons. So today, welcome to this or that. So before we jump into the good stuff, um, if you like me, if you like this kind of video, if you like this idea of a this or that series, please give me a thumbs up and like this video, guys. It really helps me decide which content to keep putting out there um, and which content you guys aren't big fans of. So that would be so helpful. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I appreciate all of you so, so much for being here. And it really goes a long way in justifying this channel in the eyes of the YouTube world and community. So please subscribe, like, and let's get on with the video. So to kick things off, let's start with the most important thing, which is how much is this going to cost you, right? If you're going to go spend your money and you're going to pick a lip mask that you love, let's talk about price. So for the Laneige Bite Beauty Lip Mask, this is going to be roughly $20. It's $20 on Sephora or it's about $18 on Amazon. I'm going to go with the $20 mark because the Amazon mark always changes. So at $20 for this 20 gram tub of product, it is roughly $1 per gram versus the Bite Beauty Lip Mask, and you're getting 15 grams of product, and it's gonna cost you $26. So this equates to about 1.71 grams, uh, or dollars per gram. So 1.71 dollars per gram, one dollar per gram, this is less expensive for the amount of product that you're actually getting. So in terms of cost, winner. Alright guys, so now that we got price out of the way, let's start to compare and contrast these two products. I do want to mention that all of the information I'm sharing with you guys today, um, in terms of like the technical stuff, I did acquire from the Sephora website, along with the Byte and Laneige websites as well. I've just taken their information and I'm spitting it back out to you guys. And then after I go through like the bullet points um, and comparing these products, I'll give you my opinions about them. So the very first thing is obviously all the colors and all of the shades that are provided and available for us because that's really what matters, right? I'm just kidding. But um, I am happy to say that the Bite Beauty lip mask actually has expanded their range. Before it was only the clear, which is what I have. I actually love the clear because when I'm sleeping, I like I don't really wear this during the day unless it's an emergency um, because it's super, super thick and viscous. But this product, I, I literally sleep in. It's not a day-to-day -day product for me. So I didn't want a color transferring onto my pillowcase or transferring anywhere for that matter, which is why, you know, clear is good for me. Um, that's something to consider when making your selection. However, the other three um, colors that they do have available right now are going to be like a champagne color, which is like gorgeous, like light pink. Um, and then you've got a smashed red it's like a smashed cherry red i think is what they call it which is a sheer tinted red you've got a maple as well so the maple is like a darker brown but again it's sheer um, i just mentioned this is very viscous it is very thick um, a little goes a long way don't overdo it with this guy it's going to like you're going to feel it on your lips again that's one of the reasons why i don't like wearing it during the day very much because it's you can feel it i prefer to sleep in it and honestly for me when i wake up in the morning Morning, I can still feel this slightly on the lips. Um, so that's just something to be aware of for this. So comparing that to the Laneige, the Laneige on the other hand is very thin, um, not viscous whatsoever, much thinner than I anticipated. Um, obviously this is a pop form and this is like this tube made out of aluminum. Um, but this did come with an applicator, which I love. And the formula is to which I can wear this during the day or I can sleep in it. So it's a little bit more versatile in that perspective or aspect. Onto the color selection. So there's five different um, colors or scents available currently on the market. This is the berry. You've also got a lavender, which is gorgeous. You have a an apple lime. Uh, Let's see, 
a vanilla, and a grapefruit. So you've got a bunch of options to choose from when it comes to the Laneige as well. Next up, let's talk about what ingredients are in these products that make them effective or what makes these products unique or special or different from each other. So with the Bite Beauty um, lip mask, this actually has a ton of resveratrol. Any wine drinkers out there, any winos, hands up please. <laughs> but um, this has enough resveratrol in, um, in it to equate to 15 bottles of wine. Yes, so good. So this is going to provide provide so many antioxidants to the skin, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, secondly, this, um, this also has lanolin in it. I didn't know what lanolin was. It's essentially a very waxy um, ingredient that kind of makes a film on top of things, hence probably why this is so thick in consistency. Um, it's going to lock in the moisture, or at least that's what it is said to do, is to help lock in all of that stuff overnight. And then the third ingredient in this guy that is supposed to just make it super special is jojoba oil. Jojoba oil is so good for you. It heals the skin. It can also reduce breakouts, which is good because actually lanolin can cause breakouts. It's so thick and viscous that if it does get into the skin or outside of the lip line, it could, you know, clog your pores and cause breakouts. So um, just be aware of that. But those are the essential three ingredients in this guide that make it um, do what it does. This also only has roughly, give or take, 15 ingredients total. And when I went through the ingredient deck, I could pronounce and understand every single ingredient that was put into this product. Again, Bite Beauty is all natural, which I love. It's good for the skin, good for the skin ingredients. You're not getting toxins or chemicals. So if you are into that kind of thing like I am, this is going to be a great product for you. The Laneige, on the other hand, had roughly 30 to 35 ingredients in the ingredient deck. Of those 30 to 35, they were all very hard to pronounce. None of them were layman's terms. So for the Bite Beauty one, for example, it would be like jojoba oil. Um, this one was like beta-glycan. So a lot more things that are technical, um, things that the average consumer is not fully aware of what they actually are. Um, with that being said, there were two things that Laneige promotes is their proprietary ingredients that make it super, super special. The first one being a trademark by them, which is called the Moisture Wrap. The big glycan I was just talking about, that's what's in it. And it's going to provide eight hours of release. Um, so it provides a layer of eight hour release um, so that your lips stay moisturized for up to eight hours and you're not just soaking it all in at once. Um, that's really good because this is thin. So with thinner consistent for thinner thinner consistent formulas, that doesn't make any sense. So with formulas that are more thin on the consistent side, got it that time, um, it is going to be more prone to soaking up into the skin more quickly. Um, so with that beta glycan, it's going to allow it not to seep into the skin all at once. The second thing that is also trademarked is called their Berry Mix complex. And this is just what it sounds like. It's a bunch of berries and it's going to provide antioxidants to the skin as well as vitamin C. If you know me, you know that vitamin C is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite ingredients for the skin. So the fact that this contains vitamin C in it makes me a super happy person and the antioxidants are great. While not being promoted or marketed that this is up to 15 bottles of wine, Antioxidants are antioxidants at the end of the day, right? What you should expect out of the bite formula is that it's going to be extremely emollient. This is going to be thick in consistency when you put it on the lips. It's really not going to slip or slide. It's not going to move anywhere. It's going to stick there. It's going to stay there. It's going to be there for a very, very long period of time. This is going to provide a ton of hydration to the lips, and it's also going to provide... Um, an ability for your skin to improve its texture. So I love to use this specifically when my lips are deteriorated, demolished, done. Um, like the driest of the dry, if my lips need help, this is what I go to immediately because it really, really helps out with the more dry side of the spectrum. It does provide a ton of moisture. Not necessarily like a plumping effect, just more of like a repairing effect for me. I love it so much that I have the big one, I have the mini one, 
and I also have this guy. This is new. This is um, the same agave formula, but it is in stick form. So if I'm on the go, while I don't use this on the go because it is super thick in consistency, I have more control um, when it comes to like the chapstick formulation, so I can put less on my lips. So as you can tell, this has been a huge favorite of mine for a really, really long time, and I love it when my lips need tons of help. Like. SOS. My lips need so much help. So the Laneige, on the other hand, um, is a really, really good lip mask when it comes to a thinner consistency or a thinner textured lip mask. It's great for the day. I also really love sleeping in this for a day-to-day -day point of view. Um, I prefer the Agave one by Bite when I'm having like super, super troublesome times, but on the daily, I love this because in the morning, it really does plump up my lips. It has hyaluronic acid in it. So what hyaluronic acid does, it is a great rejuvenator or revitalizing ingredient. What it's going to do is pull the moisture from the air and it attracts it to whatever it's in. So in this case, it's going to pull the moisture from the air and it put it into your lips. So when you wake up, you are left with more like plump hydrated lips. Um, and that is just like my dream come true, especially overnight. I love waking up after I have this on overnight. It locks in that moisture really, really well, but also it decreases the flakiness in your lips. It depends on where you live, it depends your skin type, depends on how hydrated you are. I hate water, as you guys know, so I'm always dehydrated. Um, so this helps out with the flakiness of my lips, and I really, really love this stuff. Additionally, the Bite Beauty and the Laneige are free of parabens, phthalates, and the Bite is um, also free of sulfates. The Laneige does have sulfates in it, so if that's important to you, now you know. Alright guys, so my final thoughts on these two, I love them both, what can I say? I can't really pick one or another to say, oh my gosh, this one is so much better. It's all a matter of personal preference, as is all makeup and beauty at the end of the day. For me personally, the Laneige is my tried and true, it's my go-to for day to day every single night. This is like the most, the thing that I use the most consistently. If I don't use it the next morning, I notice that I'm more flaky on the lips. I, I really, really do love this for the day-to-day -day or the night-to-night -night, um, application. However, if I have issues going on with my lips, if they are beyond, you know, repair, if they are super dry, you know, perhaps once a week when I just need the extra boost of hydration, of moisture, the more intense days, the winter, go with the bite. So it's, like I said earlier, more emollient. It's going to stick on your lips for longer. It's really going to hydrate them. So they're both really, really excellent. It's just a matter of what you like. Um, so yeah, I hope that this was helpful. If you guys like this, this, or that kind of series, comparing and contrasting products, whether it's a K-Beauty product versus a North American product, because this was made in Canada, not USA. Um, but if you guys prefer like a this or that with K-Beauty versus other, or just like things in the same category, please let me know. Comment down below what this or that you want to see next. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you on my next video. Bye!